So we're going to discuss now when to chant, where to chant, and how to chant. And of course, we understand you can chant anywhere at any time, but some ways and places are better. So these are some things to consider. Chant where you won't be distracted. If you're chanting in a place where a lot of things are going on, obviously it's hard to focus, you know, on the street, lots of things happening. So chanting, for example, in a park where it's quiet, in front of your altar, sitting in front of your altar is, is very powerful, in the temple room. Although even in the temple room, sometimes <laughs> you can be distracted. People can talk to you. But the idea is the more there's distractions, the more we'll tend to be distracted. And a similar thing is when to chant. Well, when to chant is chant when you won't be distracted. So what we find is early morning is best for several reasons. There's not a lot going on in the morning, and there's not a lot for you to do early in the morning. So outside of you, nothing's really happening. Inside of you, it's too early to start your day. And it's also good because you want to start your day on a spiritual note. So a lot of the battle in chanting good japa is just creating the right environment, both externally and internally, so that you won't be distracted. So don't make it difficult on yourself. Now, of course, sometimes we don't have time or we don't have facility to chant in the ideal environment. But... Um, as best we can. Now, we're talking about the early morning. We do the best we can, whenever we can. But we're talking about the early morning and how you don't have to engage in your day. So, one of the things you want to do when you're chanting is turn your mind off. Don't, don't have your mind going about thinking about what you have to do later, what happened yesterday, and what's going on in your life. You kind of want to, just before you chant, you want to shift your mood a little bit. And so just just let your mind go off because because you want to be absorbed in chanting. Then the next thing is you want to be in the mood. And what is the mood? Well, we're going to talk about this a little more. But there is a mood. Chanting is a prayer. We're calling to Krishna for help. So we want to be in a prayerful mood. We're petitioning Krishna for many things, and we'll discuss this soon. But the idea is be in the mood. Krishna, please help me. That's, that's the kind of mood we want to be in. So we want to create this external environment where it's peaceful. We want to be at a time of day, early morning, ideally, because the mind is more peaceful, less is going on. We want to, we want to turn off our minds. We want to be in the proper mood. And then, of course, some people say sitting, standing, walking, I'll leave that to you. Some people find sitting helps their concentration. Some people find walking or standing, especially if you're tired. Now, Lord Chaitanya said there's no hard and fast rule, but so that I will leave to you. But the idea is create the proper environment.